Hey everyone, welcome to EdTech Hustle. My name is Rich, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a number of different Canva designs automatically using a feature called Bulk Create. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this trick is going to work on any Canva design, but for this one, I'm going to be creating a post on Twitter or X. Now, if I click right over here, you can see it's going to take me to a number of different Twitter templates. But what I can do is just do a search for Twitter post quote, and this should take me to a number of different templates that feature a quote. You can see some of the options right over here. Now, if I want to, I can take any of these and open them and just modify the template. But what I've done instead is kind of created my own template right over here. So what I want to do now is automatically create a number of different Twitter posts with a different quote and a different photo. So what I'll need to do is to keep track of all the quotes that I want to use. This is a spreadsheet. It's just a regular Excel file or a CSV file will work as well. It's just a way that I can keep track of the quotes and the person that said those quotes. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be a spreadsheet. It could be a document, but I'm gonna do it this way because it will make it easier to copy and paste. Now, once you have that information together, I'm gonna to go to Canva, I'm going to go down to where it says apps and I'm going to type in bulk create. And you can see the app that you'll need right over here to the left, bulk create. And there's two different ways that you can do this. Now I can select upload CSV and upload that spreadsheet I showed you a second ago, but there's also another option, which is to enter that data manually. So I could type directly into this spreadsheet if I wanted to, but what I'll do instead is go back to my CSV file. I'm just going to take everything that I have, including those two columns with the quote and the person who said it go back to Canva and now I'm just going to paste that and I have the name and now I have the quote and the person who said it. So I'm just going to reflect that in my title. So this will be the quote and this column is going to be, I'll just type in person and this column will be person. All right, now there's one last thing I wanna do. If you remember on my template, I also had a photo. So what I'm going to do is to select add image. And from here, I can upload a different image. Now, what I've done for this project is I've created my own photo folder right over here where I uploaded all of the photos of each person that made the quote. So this first one is Steve Jobs. I'm just going to connect that photo here. The next one, we have Theodore Roosevelt, Samuel Goldwyn. You can probably probably see where this is going. So I'm just going to do the rest of my photos for each person. Okay, so I've got a photo for each person and I am going to select done. Okay, so now my last step is going to be to connect the data to each element that's on your screen. So the first thing I'll have to do is connect this quote to that list, that spreadsheet I created with the quotes that I copied and pasted. So, so to do that, I'm just going to right click and select connect data. From here, I'm going to choose quote because this is where I include the quote. And then down here, this is going to be the person that said the quote, right click, connect data, I'm going to select person. Now here's the last step, I now need to connect this frame to my images. So I'm just going to right click on that and I'm going to select image. Okay, so I think I have this just about set the way that I want. I'm going to go to continue. You can see it will show me all 11 pages based on the data that I used. I'm going to generate that design and in just a few minutes, I should have all 11 pages. 
Okay, here we go. Now, when I click that, it did create a new design that showed up right in my designs from the main page of Canva. So now when I scroll down, here is Steve Jobs, there is Roosevelt. You can see there's a number of different quotes that I was able to create in just seconds using that bulk create feature. Now, once this is finished, I can select share and I can download each of these individual designs as a PNG file, which I can then upload to Twitter or to X each day that I want to share it. Now, of course, if there's something I want to change, like one of the things you can't do in Bulk Create is like highlight different parts of the text. So like I can take part of that text and I can make it yellow. If I wanted to, I can also change the font size, making that bigger. I can adjust anything individually that I would like using this brand new feature. So go ahead and give this a shot. Bulk Create is a great way to save a lot of time. And again, I just did 10 different slides, but you can do like 50, 60, so many different possibilities for you to create mass designs in just seconds using this new feature. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, I would love it if you could subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.